everybody. My name is Marian Viola. I'm a full stack product designer at NodeSource. And today I'm going to talk about simplifying the complexity of Node.js with Input CD. It is important to note that this tool will not be possible without the incredible team of Node Source engineers who curate the content. And as an expert navigator, they've managed to simplify JavaScript specifically Node.js for me and why we use Input DB in our infrastructure. But then let's start. At Node Source, we are the main Node.js distributor on Linux. Our value is centered on our expertise and the ability we have to translate performance data into a product accessible, interpretable, actionable, do so in production. We are experts in Node.js guides that help organizations and developers use Node to its fullest through our tools and consult. For years, we have been known as the Node company. All we do is focus on Node.js. What began as an idea became the ideal. Specifically today, we are going to talk about our Node.js enterprise runtime called Ensolid, which is an enterprise version of the open source project that is available out in the world. And what we're doing is we are essentially making some augmentations that allow you to access the internal behavior of what is going on inside of the runtime, and we're exposing this to a console. We have amazing case studies supporting the unique features of Ensolid. You can access performance details, performance metrics, diagnostic capabilities, security insights, but also provide a bi-directional control mechanism to control what's happening in the runtime and how the runtime behaves. So with Ensolid, you have analytics, diagnostic security, and best of all, is directly in production. Also, within Solid, you have flexible integration, specialized alerts, cloud native and container ready. And probably you're thinking, how does it work? So we are using Influx to keep track of all the process data. With all these metrics and analytics that we're getting, we're looking at serving large installation of nodes, hundreds or thousands of processes running at the same time across different environments. And in order to do that, we are using Influx TV. Influx TV drives, drives in the data aggregation. Um, uh, Influx uh, gave us rich views, each individual process in terms of light metrics, diagnostic data, capture CPU profiles or memory snapshots in order to detect memory leaks, and also security audit. So we knew we kind of wanted to lean into a time series database, and Influx TV quickly rose to the top of the list. So we quickly worked to migrate to Influx TV. One of the things that was really important to us is one of the unique values propositions of Ensolid is the real-time aspect. So there are a lot of APM tools out across the board, from Datatop to New Relic and whatnot, and there's a variance in terms of how available the data is. It's not necessarily real-time. There's actually a staging period, and what we'll see sometimes is anywhere between a minute to five minute delay before you actually see those results. What we want to see is be proactive. So our sampling mechanism is every three seconds. So there's a three seconds latency between what's happening and what you are actually seeing and what you are being alert on. So because of the of there's a huge amount of processes occurring, InfluxDB is really poised to deliver on that. A single binary is all you need to run InfluxDB, actually. So the ease of distributing is what's actually a critical aspect for us as well. It simplifies a lot of the steps. So when using InfluxDB, how did we integrate this into our product? So we actually tried to limit what the customer has to do with configuring InfluxDB. So out of the box, our product just works. And InfluxDB is just kind of magically there and it's provided. However, from a security, from a configuration standpoint, we have a lot of different configuration mechanisms that customers can do to actually control the cardinality, change their permissions, and even change how the indexing works with InfluxDB. So it's important to kind of highlight and kind of reiterate that we are kind of a unique user of science we are packing InfluxDB into a product. And as a result, we're actually offering 24-7 support to our customers on a unique set of issues. So we don't support the issues that might come up with InfluxDB, related to our product and up to top of our other things. So one of the great things about Influx is that it actually provides. 
I think the learning curve actually is very nice. It's actually typical very gentle to get in. The documentation is great, the community is excellent. But if you need those forward features and you go under the hood a little bit more, there's actually all kind of bells and whistles and flags to kind of fine tune it for your needs. So with that said, when we look at some of those things in our use case, what are some of the challenges that we face between utility influx? So I think that integrity is one of those things that we're constantly kind of putting our head up against. So as you look at utility influx, it's really important. And this is more about understanding your application, understanding your customers or your use case, and the shape of your data and how you want to access that. Influx is there, and it can really kind of meet those demands of huge amounts of data being thrown at it. The neat thing for us that Influx be offered was it's actually really easy to test and develop. The good sign of a good database implementation is that the user doesn't necessarily know about it or need to feel that isn't there. So we're happy with using Influx. Generally, if users were interested to go onto Nodesource.com and check it out, we firmly believe that the solid is the only node you should be running in production because it gives you all the insights and magic and security goodness as well as diagnostics. So if people want to head over there, you can easily sign up, check it out, run a couple of processes, take a couple of CPU snapshots, and then get going right now on your solid. Thanks for watching.